Hey guys, what is up back with another video? I'm gonna waste absolutely no time. We have my updated sneaker collection video. It has been one of my most requested videos on the channel over the past few months. So here it is guys, 178 pairs of sneakers. I don't wanna waste any of your time. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and share it. And if you are new to the channel as your first video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's take a look at the sneakers. All right, starting off with some random shoes that I don't have boxes for. Uh, the Adidas Dero 773, I actually got this as a gift from Foot Locker. Canada the day that I met Robert Parrish a pair of Converse Chuck Taylors uh, in a Wiz Khalifa collaboration colorway Alexander McQueen times Puma sneakers these things are actually pretty expensive and then we have a pair of Adidas superstars and just some random colorway moving on from there some sneakers that champs has uh, sent me in the past thank you to champs for all these but we have a pair of Timberlands in this off-white or Angora colorway of course it wouldn't be a champ sports box without a pair of ZX fluxes right here in this black mesh and gum colorway you also have these Nike Zoom Toronadas right here, which is a pretty good training shoe from what I've heard. Of course, another pair of ZX Flexes. Champs loves to send these bad boys out to people. And then a pair of Air Max 90s in the Sunset colorway. A pair of LeBron 12s in this Dunk Force or Dunk Man colorway. Harachis right here and then also a pair of Air Max Plus Tuned One. Next, moving on to some other sneakers, some of my more recent acquisitions, a pair of Under Armour Curry 2s in this USA colorway. Of course, the Optic Yellow or Wu-Tang Foam Posits. We have the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged. The Air Jordan 12 Gym Red, which is a really, really nice sneaker. This was not as popular as I thought it would be, but these things are amazing in my opinion. And then a pair of Air Jordan 5 Pro Stars. You guys can probably find these at the Nike outlet right now uh, for around $110, $120. Great price if you can find it for those for a pair of Jordan 5s. And then my favorite Nike KD sneaker of all time. I know lots of you guys will disagree and say it's an Ann Pearl colorway, but these are the EYBL KD7 Elites, and I think they are absolutely amazing. And then we have a pair of KD6 Elites in this gold colorway looking very nice as well my only pair of regular kd7s in this clear water or road camo colorway and then my only pair of regular kd6s in this meteorology colorway and then we have my only pair of kobe 11s these guys right here the elite white horse pretty freaking nice kobe 8 milk snake kobe 8 taipan and then a really crazy pair of shoes, the Kobe 7 Yin Yang. As you can see, the two shoes are opposite colors of each other. And then we have the Kobe 10 Elite Low Christmas. These things are very, very nice. The Kobe 10 Elite Low Cheetah or Chester or Rivalry. There's a few nicknames for those. Kobe 9 Elite Low in University Red. The swoosh does glow in the dark. And then we also have the Nike ID Kobe 10 Elite Low that I made in sort of a Stormtrooper colorway. And it does say, Ray Ray on the inside of the tongue as you guys can see and then we have these which are very nice in my opinion as well The Kobe 10 elite low IDs once again in this multicolor. These are really dirty need to give these a clean But then we have the mom Becurials. you guys know how I feel about pink You guys know that I love these these are very nice indeed And then we have these bad boys right here These actually go for a little bit of money on eBay right now, and these are in pristine condition Worn them a whole bunch though the Kobe 9 elite low Beethoven's then we actually have these. Lots of you guys think, think these are hideous. I can completely understand why. The KRM EXT Kobe 9 Elite High. And these things are just wild, like a crazy looking colorway of a crazy looking shoe. Then we have the high top details. These need to be cleaned up as well. They're pretty dirty. And then we have the Strategy Kobe 9 Elite Highs. Really, really bright colorway. This crimson is super bright. And then the Kobe 9 Elite Low Moonwalker Michael Jackson's. Of course, there is the moon on the bottom. They're a bit yellow right there as a bag of silica gel falls out of the shoe. And uh, this is the shoe I've been playing basketball in uh, for the most part recently. The Dero 6 with this boot on the back super super comfortable great lockdown great cushion the Kyrie one in this dream colorway all you guys would all say I don't have a pair of Kyrie's I have a pair of Kyrie's and the Nike stutter step n7 the shoe that got me into sneakers the hyperdunk 2011 these things are amazing but check out the bottom right here I can uh, bend it if it wants to bend and as you can see there's a big hole right there in the outsole so that is uh those shoes are basically dead the shoes that i always get nosebleeds in as you can see there's dried blood on the toe the hyperdunk 2012s the adidas d rose 3.5s these last five ones have all been shoes that i play basketball in and then of course we also do have this random pair of reeboks that i used to play outdoor basketball in and now i just like mow the lawn and shovel the driveway in these and then we got a pair of adidas y3 casa highs these are probably the most expensive retail price in my collection but i got these for 190 dollars so a really good deal 
Steel, and then the Adidas Tubular Doom in black, the Adidas Tubular Doom in pink, and the Adidas Tubular Doom in pink. The only pair of shoes in my collection that I have two pairs of. You guys probably think I'm on drugs for having two pairs of these, but I think they're really freaking awesome. It's one of the brightest and loudest and most eye-catching shoes you're ever going to see in your life and I love pink, as I said. Now we also have a pair of the mesh version of the NMDs. These things are very, very nice. Not as comfortable as the Ultra Boost, but still pretty comfortable nonetheless. The Nike Flight Posit, just a classic Nike basketball sneaker. If you're into 90s kicks, get a pair of these. Speaking of 90s kicks, speaking of awesome classic basketball sneakers, the Air More Up Tempo in this white and red colorway. One of the best Nike sneakers ever made, in my opinion. I'm very glad that I was able to grab the retro this year. The Nike Fly Stepper 2, don't call them Yeezys in this red October colorway. Got these in New York a few summers ago. Very, very nice. I don't think they really released anywhere in Canada. So I was glad that I could get these. And then the Air Max 90 in this white and blue colorway, the first sneaker that I ever reviewed on YouTube. The video was absolutely terrible, but this is where it started. And then we got these guys right here, the Vandals. Never wear these anymore. They're extremely uncomfortable for me, but they look pretty nice if you ask me. We got a pair of Chuck Posits in the metallic silver colorway with the icy bottom looking very nice. And then we have a pair of Barkley posits in the metallic silver and gamma blue colorway also looking very nice essentially the exact same colorway as these so that's pretty interesting how they did the same colorway on two different models but we have an Air Force 180 with an ant crawling inside of it I should probably get that out of there before I'm done filming the video but these are nice as well another classic 90s sneaker the Adidas Ultra Boost in the gray wall colorway these ones are great and these ones right here, the Adidas ZX Flux in this red prism. Lots of you guys ask you can get these. They are sold out at all retailers, but check eBay. You can probably find them for a really good price. The Adidas Stan Smith in this white and black colorway, this premium colorway with the yellowed midsole and outsole. Pretty nice shoe, pretty simple shoe, wear it with anything. And then the Adidas Tubular Nova in this off-white colorway. These things are actually amazing. Tons of people think these are Yeezys. They're obviously not, but they have the same look, the same style. They sort of look like a Louis Vuitton Jasper as well, but for the price point, I honestly don't think you can go wrong on these and then as well we got these that I got for 30 bucks you guys hate these the Reebok Big Hurt in black and white all right the Reebok Big Hurt in white as well these things are very nice as well I got them for 30 bucks also the Kamikaze 1 another classic 90s basketball sneaker worn by Sean Kemp of course the Kamikaze 2 in this fish market colorway with stick uh, with scales pardon me and fish on the insole that you guys cannot see the Rain Man colorway the Reebok Answer 4 the only pair of Iversons that I have in my collection and then we have a pair of ExoFit plus high. Uh, this is a Basquiat colorway, so they put one of Basquiat's paintings on it and it looks absolutely amazing. Now we have two pairs right here, the Nike Tempo 94 Mid in the Chicago Jordan 1 colorway and the Bread Jordan 1 colorway. A really cool collection that they did there. The leather quality is great. And then we have the Converse Weapon Times John Varvados in Red Chili Pepper. We have the Converse All-Star Moto Jacket with that zipper up there. And then moving on to the LeBron 12s, we have the LeBron 12 Lionheart, the LeBron 12 Data, the LeBron 12 Instinct, and then my favorite out of the bunch, the LeBron 12 EXT, finish your breakfast. These things are freaking loud. They're amazing. And then we also have the Air Jordan 28, moving on to the Jordans, the things that you guys all want to see, the Air Jordan 28 uh, All-Star right there. We have the Air Jordan 12 Flu Game, very nice. Air Jordan 12 French Blue, also very nice. Air Jordan 12 Master, these things are so nice, like these are great. We have a shoe that everyone was hyped up on when they released in November, and now they are at Outlets, the Air Jordan 8 Aqua, Air Jordan 9 Anthracite, another sleeper that I think is very, very nice, and then as well, another sleeper that no one really was hyped up on, but I love these, the Air Jordan 10 NYC. And then next, we actually got the Air Jordan 1 Letterman, great colorway once again. Uh, these released a little while ago, you can probably still grab them. Air Jordan 1 Swooshless in Arctic Orange or a Pale Pink. We have the Air Jordan 2 in white and red, the Air Jordan 2 Wing It colorway, another one that was really slept on and easy to get for under retail, the Air Jordan 3 in this infrared 23 colorway, Air Jordan 4 Toro Bravo, Air Jordan 4 Oreo, these need to be cleaned, they're getting pretty dirty, and then the Air Jordan 4 Alternate 89, which is one of the best colorways, one of the best non-OG colorways, I should say, of the Air Jordan 4. And then, switching around here, we have the what are these even called? The Metallic Jordan 1s. Almost forgot the name of them. White and Metallic, one of the original colorways of the Jordan 1. Another original colorway in a low top form is the Air Jordan 1 Low Chicago. Then we have the Air Jordan 1 Cyber Monday in this black and white colorway looking very nice. The Cyber Monday 3s are one that I'm really anticipating. And then we have the Air Jordan 1 Laney. 
We also got these bad boys right here, the Future Premium in this bread colorway, and then we just got a regular pair of Futures in this red and white colorway. Jordan 29 Blackout, as well as the Air Jordan 2012, which is pretty much the equivalent of the Jordan 27. These, the wildest shoes in my collection, the Air Jordan 28, why not? These things are amazing. Russell Westbrook, shout out to you for uh, making those. And then we have the Air Jordan 11, i.e. low referee PE that released in September. The Jordan 11, 72, and 10. Pretty much everyone, everyone and their mom has a pair of these. The Bulls over Broadway Jordan 10s that released All-Star Weekend in New York. These things are very nice. Love these things. The leather is great on them. And then the recently released Jordan 11 Lows in this cherry colorway. These are also very nice. The color never shows up properly on camera though. It washes these out a lot. But then moving on to some foams. We got these. These are beautiful. The University Red and Black Foam Plaza Pros. The gold ones. The uh, hologram ones, these are one of my favorites that I have. Probably my favorite foam posit that I do own. And then these are super dusty, need to give these a clean, but the foam posit Pro Red October colorway, sort of a Yeezy inspired one. Some Nike ID LeBron 11s in this blood, spa uh, blood splatter, pardon me, these are beautiful. And then this red October colorway as well. Another pair of LeBron 11s, I am known for LeBron 11s, so there's gonna be a lot of these. We have the 11 Low Maison de LeBron, Another pair of IDs. This is one of my favorite shoes I've ever created on Nike ID. And then we have the EXT Denims, very nice as well. The EXT Blue Suede's not a fan favorite, but one of my favorites as well. The LeBron 10 Dolphins, the LeBron 10 Pure Platinum. Shout out to you, Jazz. I know these are these are a favorite of yours. The LeBron 11 Summit Lake Hornets, the LeBron 11 Elite Team the LeBron 11 Maison du LeBron. You could get these for a really good price, like $110. So if you're able to get that for that, great price. LeBron 11 2K14, these were uh, pretty hard to get, pretty limited, so uh, they weren't actually available at retail stores. The LeBron 11 USA, LeBron 11 Terracotta, South Beach, which I also need to clean looking at these now, and then the LeBron 11 Everglade. More LeBron 11s right here, the LeBron 11 Elite Champ Pack. I really wanna get the lows of these. So if you have the lows for a great price, the multicolor ones, let me know. And then the LeBron 11 Elite, in this gold, also the team colorway right here, and then the elite uh, Maison de LeBron colorway. Once again, you can get those, all of them for a very good price. The King's Pride, the most meaningful shoe in my collection. These things are great. The black and red ones, um, and then the Gamma Blues, the Miami versus Akron's great colorway. The Miami Knights, this one, let me tell you guys, this one is a sleeper. These are fire. And then the Christmas ones, very nice as well. Dunkman's graffitis and the shoe that i wore to my high school graduation the lebron 11 black history month on this side we have some atomic orange black history or <laughs> lebron 11s pardon me we have the diffuse jade the glow in the dark all-star ones and then moving on we're done with lebron 11s we have some wheat timberlands some dark gray charcoal Timberlands, red Timberlands. These ones sold out super quick the day they released in September. It was really surprising. They restocked a whole bunch more times after that. But these skate highs right there, there are a pair of flip flops in the box, but I'm wearing them right now. And then I have a pair of Pagabo dress shoes right here. Pretty good quality. They're like a hundred bucks. And you know, for the price, you can't really beat them. And then I do play soccer. So I have the Mercurial uh, Victory 4FG, just a sort of low tier soccer shoe. And then I have the Mercurial Miracle as well. I have a pair of old tampos I used to play soccer in and then a pair of shoes that I literally just like mow the lawn once again in. This is another pair of shoes I pretty much just like take to the cottage with me and stuff. Another pair of shoes, the Adidas Hardcore High that I mow the lawn and shovel the driveway in. This is my first pair of Jordans I ever bought. Got these in uh, the Dalleria, the finish line there. Uh, the Dalleria, the Galleria in Dallas, pardon me. Got them at the finish line there. And then a pair of Air Force One times Liberty Arts pack. This is the only time that Liberty Arts has ever done a men's sneaker. Usually only do women's sneakers. And then we have the City Pack in this London colorway of a Lunar Air Force One. These are hideous but beautiful at the same time. Some Flyknit Air Force Ones in the low top black and multicolor. The high top, white and multicolor, these things are pretty much like flames, pretty much. And uh, the only pair of Nike SBs I have, these are so dirty right now, you have no idea. The camera's doing a beautiful job of fixing the uh, the colors on these, but I need to clean these. The BHM Dunk Lows. The three pairs of Weight Wades that I have are the 2.5 Gold Rush. These things are freaking crazy, like it's all gold. These are also crazy. The 2.0 Low Diablo, like just take these in, these are beautiful. The 2.5 Encore Red Lava, and then moving on, my only pair of Asics is the Asics Jelly 5 Red Mamba. We have my only pair of Pumas. Well, I, that's not true. I have the Alexander McQueens as well, but these are the R R698 in the Red Suede. My only pair of Roshi Runs. I did have a couple others. I ended up selling them, but the Winnipeg Winters. Free Flyknit Chuckas right here in this black and white colorway. 
Tempo 94s in a black and white paint splatter, Air Bacons in the Miami Heat colorway, two pairs of field boots in a six inch olive colorway, and an eight inch British khaki colorway. We have a pair of free 3.0s, a pair of, another pair of free 3.0s. These are the Flyknit version though. And then switching things up over here, we have some 5.0 trainers in the zebra colorway. We have some Flyknit Lunar 2s in a pink and black colorway. Rainbow 5.0 Freeze, one of the most comfortable summer sneakers you can get. And then we have a pair of Flyknit Lunar 1s in this multicolor colorway that I got for like $70, which is an amazing price. And then we have the Finger Trap Max in a digi camo and infrared. We have these guys right here in a black and red. The uh, the trainer free trainer 7.0 and then rounding off my ridiculously sized sneaker collection We have these guys right here another free trainer 7.0 in gold black and red Yeah, so that's my sneaker collection guys. Thank you for watching I hope you did enjoy if you haven't already Please hit that like button if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button I do post new sneaker content every single day advanced. Thank you for a hundred thousand subscribers Hopefully we'll be hitting that by the end of the month and that is pretty awesome But let me know what you thought of the sneaker collection. What was your favorite pair of shoes? I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then then, peace.